I've created a set of tools and an ImageJ plugin that are useful for turning microscopy images, especially fluorescent microscopy images, into publication ready figures. If you go into the plugins menu and find quick figures, you can make the main toolbar appear. This is the main toolbar. If you have a multi channel stack open in ImageJ, it is very easy to create a figure. You first draw a region of interest and then you go over to my toolbar and you click the quick figure button, which is this uh, tool icon right here. You click and it instantly creates a figure, replacing dozens of steps. Editing the figure that you've generated is very easy. It can be done in an intuitive way by clicking and dragging certain items. And right clicking brings up pop up menus that will allow you to do virtually anything to your figures. Most edits are very easy to do. Adding an additional image to a figure is as easy as dragging an image file onto the figure, selecting a region of interest, and there you go. You've created a more complex figure. If I take a .zvi file and drag it to some spot on my worksheet that does not contain a set of panels, it will import it using bioformats because this is a .zvi file show me a little bit of a preview and once I've selected a region of interest it will create another set of panels over here that I can add to very easily. One can spend a lot of time triple and quadruple checking to make sure the format of every set of panels in every figure is absolutely consistent prior to publication Quick Figures makes this process much easier. If you have any inconsistency between sets of panels, you can fix that by going to the Figure Format menu. There we go. You can also align sets of panels very easily using the Align menu. Voila! And now we have something that looks much more suitable for presentation and publication. In scientific figures, we often have one or more cells shown in a large panel, with smaller image panels depicting certain regions of interest at a higher level of magnification. I have a tool that is extremely useful for creating these types of figures. If you have a figure created, like this one right here, uh, you can use this tool over here, which I call the inset tool, and you simply draw a region of interest uh, and you can draw another region of interest and that instantly creates uh, panels uh, beside the main image panel. Now you can edit these regions of interest, you can resize them uh, like so, or you can rotate them however is suitable for what you're trying to create. If uh, you don't like them, you can always right click on them and hit remove and remove. For additional options, you can double click on that same tool and choose to change the location where you want these image panels placed uh, or the scale factor or perhaps the border width between them. And after having made these changes, you can draw a brand new region of interest and that will create a new set of little panels uh, depicting this area right here. Or do you want this area? Users who prefer to finish their publication level figures in Adobe Illustrator can conveniently do so. They can use quick figures to generate an Adobe Illustrator script and then they can run that script in Adobe Illustrator. Once Adobe Illustrator has run that script it will generate an identical looking figure in which every item is a separate editable object within Adobe Illustrator and the layers are a facsimile of the layers that one had within Quick Figures. Eventually everyone wants to share and present their data 
So to get these figures out of quick figures, one can export them using several methods. One can export as PDF, one can export as an image, or in this case, I'm going to export as a PowerPoint slide. And PowerPoint can open this. Uh, now within PowerPoint, every single item is an editable object that one can continue editing however one prefers in PowerPoint or perhaps one's colleagues will be the ones to edit this figure in PowerPoint. Quick Figures is also helpful with a lot of routine edits that occur while preparing your figures. Here I have an image panel that is a little bit too big and has much more space shown than the cell that I'm trying to depict. I can easily crop it by going to this pop-up menu, Figure, and Recrop All Images. I can edit my region of interest right here. It will ask me about the second image. And the third. And there you go. I have a much cleaner, tidier looking figure that's ready for additional editing. Here I click on the layout and I can then rearrange my panels very easily. Like so can adjust really any aspect of my figure. One can also make adjustments to the display range and it will change the display range of both split and merged panels equally, making sure everything is nice and consistent. You can learn the other features of Quick Figures by listening to the other tutorial videos, or you can go to the online user guide that I've created. Alternatively, you could just tinker around yourself to learn some of the features. The easiest method to install Quick Figures with every feature involves using the Fiji distribution of ImageJ. You go to Help and Update. It will check whether there are any updates. In this case, it's up to date. Uh, if it weren't, you would have to finish updating, then restart it at this point. But once you're at this window, you click Manage Update Sites, and you scroll down over to Quick Figures. You click Quick Figures, you close, and then you click Apply Changes, and then it will download and install Quick Figures. And once it's done, you restart ImageJ, and you'll have Quick Figures. And it's that easy. After Quick Figures has installed, you can go to the Plugins menu, go to the Quick Figures sub menu, and hit Show Main Toolbar. It will ask me if I want uh, to show the Quick Figures toolbar whenever ImageJ starts. And uh, here's the main toolbar, and this contains everything you need.